Have you ever wondered what it takes to join India's premier intelligence agency, the Research and Analysis Wing, or RAW? Today, we're shedding some light on the path that could lead you there. RAW is no ordinary place to work. As India's primary foreign intelligence agency, it plays a crucial role in the nation's security and international relations. Its agents operate in the shadows, gathering and analyzing information that shapes India's strategic decisions. They are the unseen heroes, safeguarding the nation from threats both foreign and domestic. The allure of RAW lies not only in its critical role, but also in the intrigue that surrounds it. It's a world of covert operations, diplomatic maneuverings, and high-stakes decisions. The agency's work is shrouded in secrecy, and its agents are often the unsung heroes behind the country's most significant strategic victories. However, joining RAW is not like applying for a typical job. There's no public recruitment process, no open calls for applications. The agency handpicks its agents, choosing only the best from a pool of highly qualified individuals. Every step of the way, from selection to training to operations, is cloaked in the utmost secrecy. As you can imagine, the road to RAW is not an easy one. It requires exceptional dedication, physical and mental fitness, and the ability to operate in highly secretive and often dangerous environments. But for those who have the courage, the grit, and the passion to serve their country in this unique capacity, the rewards can be immeasurable. While the process lacks a public facade, understanding the avenues and requirements can certainly put you on the right track. But remember, absolute discretion is paramount. RAW operates under a veil of secrecy, and its agents must be able to do the same. So if you're intrigued by the world of intelligence and espionage, and you think you have what it takes to be a RAW agent, then stay tuned. Let's dive into the first step, meeting the eligibility criteria. Before you can even consider applying, you must meet several essential criteria. First and foremost, you must be an Indian citizen, either by birth or naturalization. Your education is also important. A bachelor's degree from a recognized university is a must, but having higher qualifications in relevant fields like international relations, security studies, or foreign languages will give you an edge. There's no official age limit, but most recruits are between 22 and 32 years old. Officers from other intelligence agencies or armed forces can apply up to 56 years old with a minimum of 20 years of service. Physical fitness is a non-negotiable. You must pass rigorous physical and medical tests. It's also vital that you have a clean criminal record with no pending cases. Lastly, the ability to maintain absolute discretion and operate in complete secrecy is paramount. If you meet all these criteria, you might wonder, how does RAW recruit its agents? It's i.e. RAW doesn't have a direct recruitment process. Instead, it scouts for potential agents through two primary channels. The first route to RAW is the Union Public Service Commission Civil Services Exam. This high-stakes exam is a portal to a variety of esteemed government services, including the Indian Police Service and the Indian Foreign Service. But it's not just about acing the exam. During the foundation course at the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration, RAW keeps an eye on high-performing candidates who have chosen these services. If you make the cut, you'll be put through the ringer with intense interviews, psychological evaluations, and meticulous background checks conducted by RAW officials themselves. On the other hand, there's the lateral deputation route. If you're an experienced officer from other Indian intelligence agencies like the Intelligence Bureau or the Armed Forces, you may be directly recruited by RAW. They'll scrutinize your skills, your experience, and most importantly, your suitability for RAW's operations. And of course, you'll undergo the same rigorous selection process involving interviews, psychological assessments, and background checks. But let's not forget, it's not just about passing these processes. You need to stand out. You need to demonstrate your analytical and problem-solving skills, your ability to communicate effectively, and your fluency in foreign languages. You should be able to adapt to diverse environments and show resourcefulness when faced with unforeseen challenges. And above all, you must display mental toughness and resilience to handle high-pressure situations and potential risks. Remember, the recruitment process is highly secretive and competitive. It's not enough to merely meet the criteria. You must also demonstrate exceptional potential and suitability for RAW's operations. They directly approach and recruit potential candidates after careful vetting. Unsolicited applications or attempts to contact RAW are discouraged and may raise suspicion. 
So focus on academic excellence, hone your analytical and problem-solving skills, and foster mental toughness. Whether you're preparing for UPSC or already part of another intelligence agency, always remember the journey is just as important as the destination. Once you're in, it's not just about meeting the eligibility criteria and passing the recruitment process. You must also possess certain skills and qualities. A raw agent must be more than just physically fit and academically qualified. They must also possess a unique set of skills and qualities. They need to be analytical with the ability to dissect complex situations, identify patterns and formulate effective solutions. Their problem-solving skills should be top-notch, as the nature of their work is unpredictable and often fraught with unforeseen challenges. Communication is key in the world of intelligence. Agents must possess excellent written and verbal communication skills, and fluency in foreign languages is a distinct advantage. Raw agents operate in diverse environments, so resourcefulness and adaptability are crucial. They must be able to think on their feet, adapt to varying circumstances, and improvise when necessary. Lastly, but most importantly, a raw agent needs to be mentally tough and resilient. Working in high-pressure situations, dealing with potential risks and dangers, demands exceptional mental strength and resilience. Remember, joining RAW is about more than just meeting the criteria. It's about demonstrating exceptional potential and suitability for the agency's operations.